You are one of the all-important Conservative Party members who will decide who our future Prime Minister is going to be. Who are you backing? Yeah. I'm leaning towards Liz at the moment, but the, my ballot paper is apparently on its way. Um, I will be given the option, I understand, of either voting by paper or digitally online. So having that in mind, I'm going to wait right to the end, just in case, as, as your commentator said earlier, one or the other could make a mistake or they could come up with something that, that grabs, me, grabs my attention and grabs my vote. Which, which is interesting. So you're not, you're not wedded to anyone particularly at the moment, but as you say, but leaning more towards Liz Truss. So what is, what is it about her and what is it not about Rishi Sunak? I, I do like the fact she's more positive about going forward. She's looking to grow the economy through tax cuts, whereas Rishi is saying it's, it's, it's almost, he's almost uh, defeatist, saying we can't cut taxes because we're going into a, we, we are going to go into a recession and we can't afford to do it. So I do like her optimism. You don't think that he might have a bit more of a sort of inside track on how exactly that works, given that he's been in the Treasury uh, and in the top job of Chancellor for a while? I mean, I think it's you know, one of the criticisms that he was levelling at Liz Truss anyway was that this was fantasy politics, fantasy economics, and that actually he knew the realities. Well, we've, we've got the Bank of England saying that interest rates might rise already again today. So that's with the current proposed tax increases. So I can't, I, I don't see a link between cutting taxes and increasing interest rates um, and inflation. I, and what Liz is saying is that she's not going to increase corporation tax. So she's not going to decrease it. She's just not going to increase it to 25%. And she wants to reverse the national insurance increases, which are hitting um, business people and employees. I'm just reading in your brief here that you are a chartered accountant, so you know your numbers, yeah. and and this is your yeah. your bread and butter then, and you see how things are affecting businesses. Yeah, and they are hurting. Um, they're all complaining about their um, fuel costs, so their gas and electricity is going up, um, but also the the costs of running their businesses are increasing, and if they're having to pay increased national insurance, that is another blow to to small, particularly to small businesses. Do you get the sense that um, Liz Truss is, is more across the reality then of this than, than Rishi Sunak? I mean, it's this, it's this idea when we, we talk to our viewers and listeners all the time and they say, we need something to happen now. And the one thing Rishi Sunak says is, well, we're gonna, there's a potential of doing something in October. There's a potential of doing something in 2026. I mean, it's, it all seems a very long way off. It, it is too far. And I think a lot of businesses and a lot of people want to see something now and not in, in four years or three, what may happen in four years or five years' time. Mm. Uh, it, it, well, for, for me personally, interest rate increases and tax rises as, are a lazy policy. Uh, they need to look at the underlying problems in the economy. We do need to, to start having an industrialisation policy, ta tax simplification policy. We need to you know, get this country up and running again.